A flurry of regional contests will be hitting us here in April. It starts today, actually, to keep us busy here for the next few weeks as we keep an eye on next World Cup qualified teams. A lot of regional contests going on, a lot of wrap up to bring us closure in some other regions like UEFA that have already found most of their slots to be taken. But it starts in Africa with the Cup of Nations. And if you guys are watching this video from the time that this went live, the Cup of Nations will go live themselves in an hour uh, to start off the contest in Rabat, Morocco, the capital of Morocco. So this is going to be really exciting for us because we're going to see eight African teams travel to Morocco, split up into two groups of four to see who will qualify to move on to a semifinal. And then only the medal winners from that semifinal, uh, from the final and the third place match, will go on to participate in the FIFA Futsal World Cup in Uzbekistan here in the fall. So not a lot of room for error for these teams, especially when you consider that a lot of these teams came in as underdogs. A really exciting prelim round for these teams as we saw some upsets and some fresh faces make it to the main stage here. So it's really exciting. Let's take a look at the groups and who's actually participating. Starting with Group A, it's host Morocco. They will be joined with Angola, Ghana, and Zambia to round out the first group. Now, that first group, I think Morocco is an absolute shoe-in. They have been one of the most consistent national teams as far as activity, as far as winning, and they are no doubt of one of the favorites to make it far in the tournament in the World Cup when the time comes. But you can bet your bottom dollar that they will be focused on this tournament. But will any of the other underdogs in the African countries be looking to dethrone them and maybe catch them uh, off guard? When you've got nothing to lose, you become a very dangerous team, in my opinion. So I think that there's some really great opportunity for someone to come out of this as a really cool dark horse. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about these countries' national teams, guys, to weigh in any further than Morocco and, and in Group B, Egypt. But really cool stuff here. Uh, and I'm looking forward to getting familiar with these teams as they participate live on YouTube at the CAF YouTube channel. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's look at Group B. Group B starts with Egypt, a favorite to move on by most experts in the futsal community. We also see Ghana in this group, or excuse me, not Ghana, Libya. Libya in this group as well. We're going to see Namibia. And then to round things out, it's going to be Mauritania. It'll round things out. They, interestingly, got their slot and they will be debutantes to the competition because Cameroon was uh, banned from this competition. Cameroon, of course, in the last cycle, uh, withdrew in the last minute from the Cup of Nations, causing a massive, uh, massive wrench in the plans for them, uh, for the African countries as they planned ahead for the World Cup. So as punishment this year, they are not allowed to partake and Mauritania is the one that moves on to take their spot. And then we get to see some fresh faces, which is really exciting. Not a team to sleep on. They have a very up and coming futsal uh, uh, culture that's coming up through that country. So they could see uh, see some interesting action as well. But Egypt, probably the favorites to win this group. I think the interesting thing about Group B is for me, any of the other three teams could take that second slot for the semifinal. So this should be a much more well-rounded group outside of Egyptian powerhouses. Uh, that should run away with that top slot. I want to hear what you guys think. How many of you follow these African teams? Do you know enough about them? Do you know who you're cheering for? And who are your dark horses? And who are your mainstays that are going to move on to take on that World Cup contest in Uzbekistan? Really cool stuff. Love seeing some exposure of some countries I'm not familiar with. And I think futsal is so special for that reason. We get to hear from countries we don't hear from on the soccer stage because it is some such a more accessible sport uh, to players. Now to see these football associations back it up and see something like a cup of nations tournament. Hopefully we get to see some really great action and see some further development from this for the future in Africa, where this sport really is starting to have a groundswell and take off and have a bit of a revolution in a lot of these countries like Ghana, like Ivory coast who just missed coming into this contest and got upset there's a lot of good movement, and I look forward to seeing how it continues to develop. Let me know who you guys are following in the comments, and maybe I'll see you in the live stream chat over at the CAF YouTube channel. Their link, of course, 
in the description. If you guys want to catch this action live, go over there, check it out, and there should be plenty of action for the rest of this week uh, moving forward, let alone with all the other regions that are going on. More to come on that in some future videos. Until I hear from you then, don't forget to play with your soul.